we hear Spike doing the dishes less than a second before he walks in. Hallway sinks. It's an alicorn princess thing. Kind of funny, isn't it? All these ponies coming to you for advice about friendship? Because you used to be famous for being such a bad friend. Spike is so desperate to shoehorn a new conflict before the opening theme that you'd swear he's on Hasbro's payroll. On that note, we have a chicken or egg situation here. Which came first? Twilight always being as anxious as a chicken? Or Spike initiating her behavior during early childhood by egging her on? No other castles are shaped like a middle finger. It's a sin because it proves the other ones on purpose. Come on, Twilight, you're getting worked up about nothing. He said, hours later as they arrive at the place he's discouraging her from going to. A bit late there, buddy. The only logical place to start is at the beginning. There is nothing logical about visiting her old home. This is just shameless nostalgia. It's exactly how we left it. Twilight never was very good at housekeeping. It's predictions and prophecies, and it's still open to the elements of harmony. Good. Maybe now we can finally make sense of it. The present was red, now it's green, then it goes back to red. Twilight reflects on her past. She also reflects on this window, which would indicate the starry moonlit outdoors is darker than this unlit interior. We're always over there visiting her. Good explanation of why these background ponies are everywhere, but we still lack an official explanation for the duplicates, namely why no pony notices changelings. But we just sort of figured you'd moved on. I came to apologize. For what? Try to keep up, Minuet. Minuet eats this donut, then moments later it reappears on her plate. Sure, it might have stung a little bit when you ran off to Ponyville without saying goodbye. But we only plotted your murder for a couple weeks, tops. Yeah. Remember when Lemonheart got her head stuck in that beaker? <laughs> yeah, remember when you failed the class for not being able to tell beakers and flasks apart? Oddly detailed handle looks out of place. It must be really painful when cartoon characters get something in their eye. Was she always like this? Well, she always was a little shy. I take great offense to the derogatory use of my name. I think you might have been busy that day. Clip show alert! If you or a loved one has been exposed to recycled animation, you may be entitled to compensation. You know the horse tranquilizer is kicking in when your eyes turn to gelatin. Surprisingly loud door for a library. Moon Dancer? Is that- Shh! The book lover who spent so much time at libraries and even lived in one for a while forgets basic library etiquette. Equestria's aversion to hands includes handrails. Can I talk to you for a minute? Shh! Be as smug as you'd like, Twilight, but that was less of a this is a library shush and more of a go the buck away shush. I haven't seen you in a while, and I thought it might be nice to catch up. You'll have to pardon her disinterest in seeing old friends that are eager to chat. Moondancer has been sold essential oils one too many times. Most of the shushers aren't even reading. These library patrons had the same irritated reaction the last time some pony shrieked in terror. The funeral's on Tuesday. Look, Twilight Twinkle, Sparkle, whatever. Every time you mispronounce a pony's name, a trademark lawyer dies of a stroke. Twilight Twinkle, Twilight Twinkle, Twilight Twinkle, Twilight Twinkle, Twilight Twinkle. I've been studying a new studying technique. That's just procrastination with extra steps. Twilight's cutie mark becomes shy and hides under her wing. The true revelation of the episode is that Twilight's been sitting on this property for five seasons. I tried friendship, and it's just not for me. Twilight and Moondancer discuss religion. The problem with season five and onward is that they don't hide fun stuff in the background anymore. Yes, they must have gone back to Ponyville. Thinking out loud to benefit an audience. Moondancer actually falls for this, despite knowing Twilight's been up to no good. You've got to let me make this up to you. You get three swings. No crippling, no killing, please. Twilight's rough edges and lack of a shadow strongly suggest she was added here in post. Credit to Moondancer. It takes a lot of skill to act alongside a CGI character. You've got a lot of friends, Moondancer. A fact which we just demonstrated by bringing in a family member and two old mares who also happen to like books. Come on, Twilight. Come on, Twilight. Come on, Twilight. Come on, Twilight. Come on, Twilight! I'm glad you opened your big mouth. Hey! Any pony up for a blast from the past? I have so many great memories of this place. Shh! 